everyone. It's Getting Crafty 101. Um, I've been experimenting today. The other day I posted on the um, face, the Resin Addicts Facebook page this link and today I'm actually trying to do it. And what it is, it's how to make your own silicone molds in your kitchen with common household items. And this is not from this how, Wonder How To. And I will put the link in the down bar when I get done. Um, but I've been experimenting with it today. And I did a few alterations to what he was using. He used uh, Mineral Spirits paint thinner. And I'm using this one. This for a whole 120 fluid ounce was only like $8 and some odd chains at Walmart. But the reason why I got this one is this is a non-flammable liquid. And so I wanted to try this. So if this fails, it may be because of that. And I will try again using the mineral spirits that he recommends. But like I said, I wanted to try this first because it seemed safer. Then he also, uh, with his items that he was molding, he put Vaseline on. And that just seemed really messier than just using baby oil. So I used baby oil. So... I'm not going to go through the whole process because I'm going to put the link to his page and he does a very good tutorial on it. But my pieces, I've got two different batches. This batch and this batch. This one is a little bit thinner. Well, it's a lot thinner actually. So I'm hoping this one works because this one is much easier to work with because it's going to have a smooth bottom. Whereas these are going to have more of a clumpy bottom. I just think these may take longer to set up. But I'll let you know. I'm going to update you. I was just excited that I was doing some. I wanted to keep on going, but I didn't want to make a bunch of fails. I wanted to know which one was more right. Because he tells you in the video to use a one-to-one -one ratio with the um, cornstarch and then with silicone. So you use one-to-one -one ratio of that. And then you have to kind of eyeball how much paint thinner to use. His seemed somewhere in the middle of mine too when he poured his so um what i was doing is i was putting one i was putting um for every one excuse me one tablespoon i put a cornstarch i put one tablespoon of the silicone and then i put half a tablespoon of paint thinner and i think that's where i'm always going to start out because the smaller when I did the larger batch, this one, I was doing the same ratio, just at a larger batch, and it still came out thicker, and I added more paint thinner, so it it varies because, you know, for one, how much silicone you squirt into a spoon, unless you flatten it out, which I didn't, it's not going to be the exact same every time, so um, it's just to play around with, but I'm really excited. Like I said, I really hope that these set up because I think they're going to look better. And what these are is I just went and I had this bought this Play-Doh because he shows you on the video how to make a 3D mold. And um, in it, you need Play-Doh in part of it um, to anchor your item that you're molding. Well, anyways, uh, I the tops of these had little, like one had a rooster and a cow and I don't remember what all they had, but they had these things in the tops and that is what I'm molding in these. And then this one, it, this is like a bottomless little something I found in the kid's toy box the other day outside when I was cleaning, remember? Well, anyways, this just has one of those little hair bows. Or no, is this the hair bow? I can't even remember now. Yeah, it's the hair bow. It's the hair bow that I uh, stand at the bottom of it and um clipped off the thing you know sanded all the edges and that it has that's what that is so i'm really excited i have all this stuff i'm wanting to mold so i will keep y'all up to date bye guys